uh, person. My streams are usually meant for more mature audiences. Plus, you know, you never know. Doug. That's also nice to practice since I turn nothing. I mean, nothing like too special. So here we go. Inflate the enemies. To the next screen, and as you can see, that one on the left, they can pass. Now, I guess the further down you are, you will... I mean, you can see this guy's about to escape. Once there's one enemy left, they'll just try to escape, guys. Whoops. I spent a little of that without, you know, getting killed. Uh, let's see if I can lure some guys. Twofer. So now this guy will probably try and escape. Also, if you drop two rocks in a level, it'll, that will make a vegetable appear in the center. If you're going for a high score, I actually recommend trying to get that. Now, obviously, you die if an enemy touches you. Uh, you also die if you get crushed by a rock. That is possible, and <laughs> that actually happens to me a surprising amount. So I just slip, you know, kind of <laughs> slip up, not even thinking about it, and also these green guys can shoot fire. Can I get me a three fur? The more enemies that you crush, the higher the score you will get. But yes. Uh, the main thing you want to watch out for are the green ones, the Figars, I believe they're called. They only shoot fire horizontally, but they can shoot through the thin wall. Let's see, is he going to try and leave? Yeah. So, for example, the walls to my right, if he was on the other side, he could shoot through that and get me. Uh... But as you can see, the enemies can phase through the walls and get you like that. I should probably get him out of the way just to make sure. Uh... Yes, if you're pumping an enemy, you can turn away to cancel your pump. And that's really useful if you know you got a whole bunch of guys coming at you. Now, I'm probably not going to get too far here, just because I'm kind of talking at the same time. Oh, dang it. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. Oh. Well, as you can see, that fire goes uh, pretty good ways. Now, fortunately, you can also shoot your harpoon through, like, thin walls also. So that is a good way to get rid of some of them. Uh, it can be a little dangerous once you get into later levels, because sometimes uh, they'll have two enemies and those holes kind of overlap, and you can't tell. So that's a little something you want to be careful about. Uh, I mean, one strategy you can do is just kind of do this. That way, when enemies phase, they will uh, run into walls. Or run to empty spaces, I guess. And then they'll just turn back into normal enemies instead of, like, ghosts. Okay. Let's see if I can get me some... Let's see if I can get a vegetable real fast. Oh yeah, plenty of time. But yeah, I mean, as you get further, the uh, vegetables will give you more points, so... If you're going for a high score, like I said, that's what you want to go for. So as you can see right there, I was able to cancel my pump on that first enemy just to catch the other one.
You do also get uh, 10 points for every space through the dirt you dig. So if an enemy is escaping and you can't get any vegetables, because you can only do the vegetable thing like once per stage, as far as I know. crushing him at least. Uh, so in the uh, hole directly above me, you can see kind of two enemies are together, but uh, they can the same type of enemy, which does make it harder to see if they're overlapped. Come on. So I'm gonna get the vegetable before this guy escapes. Considering I haven't played in a while, I am doing pretty decently. But yeah, so... Uh, I forget when I bought... Did I buy these back in 2018? Like the... Basically the three-pack, this Galaga and Pac-Man. And at the time, I did get a piece for this, and I really wasn't expecting to be able to get the Platinum, but then once I found out I was able to uh, do pretty well in the arcade. I came back and do it and got the last two trophies I needed. Uh, nope. Unfortunately, the last I heard, my high score in the arcade uh, machine that I play on has been beaten. So I do need to try and go, uh, go back sometime and beat that. Yeah, did you see that right there? They were overlapped. Uh, overlapped. My connection has enough. <laughs> well, see what I mean about the overlapping? Also, I should probably get out of there since that wall is thin. And also, you can. Oh, well, that's game over. Round 15, not bad. Still not enough to get on my high score list. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Yeah, 577th. Wait, what was the overall? I mean, I'm assuming like a majority of old school arcade games this probably has a kill screen and there's only a certain amount you can get to. Oh well. Well, that's Dig Dug.